we have the two of wands. Can you see that? Let me check. Um, yeah, I think so. So thank you to Torna for this lovely deck, the Fountain Tarot. We have the two of cups. We have strength. So the number 22, that could be important to some of you. Perhaps you've been seeing it somewhere. I know that um, 222, triple two, is a popular number to see when you are dealing with um, a partnership of some kind. So we've got Leo energy here. Seven of coins in the reverse. Wow, this person is saying to you, hey, okay, we have choices, we have options. How should we move this forward? I see you as my person. I see you as my soulmate. I feel really good. I feel really strong right now. Um, let's do this. Let's move this forward. Let's not um, waste any more time or spend any more time investing and not seeing a return on our investment. We have the Wheel of Fortune on the back. So this feels fated to your person. They're saying, okay, I feel everything is lining up for us to go, to take action, to move forward. With this two of cups, I did get the message that it's quite romanticized, but for some of you at night time, your person actually sort of looks at the stars, at the moon, and they think of you, but also um, for some of them who are interested in, know about, believe in manifestation, they're actually doing we're trying to do some kind of manifestation work to move this forward, to draw you in if there's no communication, um, and to help you both move forward. Okay, interesting. Okay, so we have the seven of seven. Seven of wands. Okay, so maybe some of them that blocked you in the past, whether it's literally blocked you out of their heart space, maybe. The nine of wands, though, to me, is, is your person saying, I'm ready to fight for this. I'm ready to, um, you know, if there's, there's some area of your connection where it, it's not going to be completely smooth sailing. They're saying, I'm here. I'm standing strong. I'm not going anywhere. I know you and I have, um, it's been difficult so far in certain ways. You know, we've already had to push through some things, but um, I'm still here. I'm still determined. Okay, so we have the Fool in reverse, and we have the Six of Cups in the reverse. This person is saying, I do not want to move on from you, and if they feel that you're moving on in some way, whether you are or not, you know, some of you will be, some of you won't be, but they're saying, please don't go anywhere, um, this is not a connection that I want to see being put in the past, you know, I want to, I want to stand up, I want to make this work, and I want to do it now, exactly, see, Four of Wands, I want to help us create a stable foundation here and I don't want to delay any longer and they do believe that you really can have this firm steady stable foundation because of how much has already been invested they've seen you give your emotion your time your effort maybe even action for some of you okay so we've ended here with the four of wands so obviously you know this can talk about union the 11 11 card but if you you know it really is talking about building something steady and firm and your person is saying that that nine of wands um if things get a bit tough here if we face some challenges i'm not going to go anywhere okay let's get some more information here it's almost like they're kind of putting the ball in your court and saying okay um I've made up my mind, I'm ready to do this, but how do you feel? Are you still interested? You know, um, we've got the Ten of Swords, so they might feel that they have caused you some pain here. There may have been a, pa a painful ending between you both. Let's see. What fell on the floor? Two of Swords in reverse. So finally, they've, you know, taken off the blindfold, looked at things, looked at the situation here um, between you, looked at the options. If they had a difficult decision to make and they felt that they were in, in between a rock and a hard place, you know, and, and doing lots of things to avoid making a decision, they're no longer doing this. We have the star Aquarius energy, but also a person saying... Again, with that Wheel of Fortune energy, I feel hopeful, I feel guided towards you. I feel that the Divine is supporting us here.
justice in the reverse. Okay, oh, we have um, a star again on the back. So wanting to bring healing. Some of them are fighting to get back into your heart space. I'm not sure exactly, of course, what has happened in your personal situations. But for those of you who resonate with that Ten of Swords energy, your person is wanting to bring back balance. Mm. Libra energy here. Yeah, see, Ten of Swords. I know there's been pain, I know there's been difficulty, I know I didn't always bring my most authentic self, um, and I understand that maybe you might be tempted to move on to you know, a partnership that feels more open, there's more communication, and it's easier, but please don't go, is what I'm feeling. Yeah, we have Death, Scorpio energy, and we have the Six of Wands. <laughs> Your person's really saying, come on, please don't go. We can we can transform, we can change this, we can we can rise above. Scorpio energy, the death card. I've been sitting back, I've been thinking, I understand what went wrong, um, how to avoid that, and I've been through a transformation here, you know, the phoenix rising from the ashes. Um yeah don't go i just keep hearing don't go don't go and you might be saying i'm not going i was never going and some of you will be saying yeah I've, i'm going but um either way your person is saying I, I just hope you aren't going because look i want a new chance another chance here i want for us to, to do this together now Some of you, your person's really going through something um, mentally, psychologically. They're smiling on the outside, but they're feeling um, pretty messed up on the inside. I'm seeing the devil card. Um, so maybe they're having to release some toxicity, some codependent behaviours. Um, they don't feel good. They don't feel healthy on the inside. That's not for all of you, just some of you. We have the three of wands. Yeah, this is kind of manifestation. Some of them are definitely calling you in at night. And this can be um, deliberately doing manifesting work, or it could be they think of you a lot as they're falling asleep. And that's pretty much a perfect way to manifest because you set your intention, you're thinking of, of the person or the thing that you want. And then when you fall asleep, you're doing the releasing part and you manage to release for like, you know, however many hours you're asleep. So it can be up to sort of eight, nine hours, which, is fantastic for manifesting so if you feel that this person is very much in your energy you feel very connected to them you're having dreams about them you're seeing signs synchronicities everywhere this is probably why because the thoughts they're having about you are very positive they're thinking about you as their wish and you see we have the moon at the top here so lots of manifesting at night time i'm being told that for some of you you have very busy um people so nighttime when they're in bed it's one of the few times where they, they're truly alone they're at peace and and they can be um in their own mind with their own present with their own thoughts okay we have a knight of wands and we have the, the eight of pentacles so any in and out flighty behavior is a thing of the past that's what your person is wanting you to believe also the snake you know if you think of adam and eve and the snake um lying to Eve. Your person hasn't always been authentic with their intentions. I think they've probably hid or rather hidden a lot of their softer um, emotions. Maybe they're in love with you and haven't shared it with you. But that that's not, you know, like I said, that's a thing of the past. They still have the passion. They still want excitement to explore, to travel with you, whether that's physical travel or, or learning new things, um, you know, trying new things out. But the Eight of Coins, that's very, very diligent, focused effort. This is someone who is grounded, um, mature, someone who you can rely upon. So we have Sagittarius and Virgo energy as well. some of you your person was struggling financially I think that's getting better for them now if that was something that was keeping them from you or slowing things down between you I'm not sure that's going to be a problem for too much longer okay seven of coins four of wands I'm seeing tulips um i think that's come up before hasn't it because i remember saying possibly the name tulip so there seems to be another confirmation for those of you with whom that resonates it's 
specifically red tulips. I don't know how many colours they come in. Is there anything? The Seven of Coins, Four of Wands. Okay. Um, Page of Cups in reverse. So there's a message that they need to send, a message that they want to send. Possibly an apology. Randomly, there could be a water sign, child involved, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Nine of Wands reversed and strength, yeah. Okay, so mostly, rather than a child, this is a message. And the message your person needs to and wants to send is going to say, I know I wasn't strong enough in the past and, and I gave up when things got tough. They definitely did get to a place where they felt completely overwhelmed. It wasn't like it got a bit tough and they walked away. You know, I think it got very difficult at times for both of you. Um, but you may have been more inclined to say, OK, let's let's just wait things out. Let's see if they get better. But your person may have completely sort of tried to walk away. So they're saying, yeah, I wish I hadn't have done that. I do feel a lot stronger now. We have strength twice, um, you know, and that brings us to the message of this reading. Please don't go. Let's fight for this together you know how how do you see us moving forward how do you want this to move forward so kind of really um asking you on the back we have the hierophant reverse so taurus energy um but if there is a pre pre-existing commitment now it could be to a partner a spouse it could be as i say to parents a job a culture religion it looks like your person is starting to break away from this as you know in whichever way they need to to be able to have more freedom to move forward with you okay so okay so we've got messages coming straight out so when's the next bus out of here yeah, and I feel like this is how they felt in the past. You know, maybe they made you feel that you were driving them crazy or this, that in some some ways you were crazy, you know, um, and they, they felt this was overwhelming, stressful, and they wanted to pull away. This is something that I think they now regret. Um, also, this, this, you know, Hierophant card in reverse. They could be saying, I'm in a situation and I just need to get away. I just want to get away so that they can get towards or come towards you. We have this is just lust. This is not talking about your connection. I mean, not with that four of wands. So let's just see where that goes. That's definitely something they showed you in the past. Exactly. You're my world. Well, if you just have lusty feelings for someone, that's it. They're not your whole world, are they? Um, so <laughs> let's just keep going. This is interesting. Uh, call slash message me. Yeah, so this person's definitely manifesting you, maybe even trying to get you to speak to them. And, you know, that's entirely up to you if, if you um, want to reach out or not. But it seems like for some of you, you know, the person will be happy to hear from you. faithful faithful <clears throat> excuse me to you okay so if they have if they did go off and they met somebody else because it felt you know it felt easier it drove them less crazy with that first card that came out about getting out of, of the connection um they're saying that that was just lust really it was always you that they were thinking about and wanting if they're already in another connection they could be saying the reason they ended up being with that person or getting involved with that person was because of lust and maybe then they got married and they realized actually there's n there's nothing really substantial here i've made a mistake maybe they had a child and sort of tied themselves in in that way but they're, they're saying it's you know you're the one in my heart and and yeah you couldn't possibly want me and that's why they're throwing it back to you and saying okay i want to give this a go um, I want to put the, put in the time and effort, the work. I want to fight in an, any way we need to fight. But do you, you know, do you still want this, or, or have you, are you going to move on instead? Okay, we have now. I see. I've settled my whole life. 
yeah and that does go with the message that um they may have found themselves in partnerships in the past that were very shallow superficial also the hierophant they may have been living a particular life but for other people for someone else for their parents their friends uh oh i dream about you yes exactly and i feel for many of you you're dreaming about them as well so you could be having um, astral dreams and one of the ways to know if it's an astral dream is um, there will be lots of telepathic communication. So when you wake up in the morning, ask yourself, um, when we spoke, hold on, <laughs> when we spoke, did we use our mouths or did we just sort of read each other's minds? So that's one of the ways you can know. Uh, but the best way really is, is you, you know, you will know how it felt. Did it feel different? Did it feel more vivid? Did it stand out from sort of regular dreams? Okay, let's get one more. Messages please from my viewer, from their person. I need time. Now, this does not resonate with the rest of the reading to me. Your person needed time before. They were dragging their feet, but now that Seven of Coins is flipped, they're saying, I, I need a time. I've had my time. But did I take too long? Do you still want me? Are you still interested? Because while, I, while I've been thinking, while I've been taking my time, I have realised you are my world. But, you know, how do you feel now? Yeah, see, running out of time. This is how they feel. Maybe they're wondering, did I take too long? Okay, let's continue. So what's going on? Let me check. What deck is this? Um... Okay, so I think this is telling us about, yes, their 3D circumstances. So let's get messages about what's going on for them in a practical sense. In a relationship, so some of them are in a relationship. Now, this could be a romantic relationship, you know, like a spouse, karmic, whatever, um, or a relationship to their work, their parents, their family, you know. Um, but yes, there's something here they've got to pull away from. And the Hierophant's in reverse, so already they are, they are pulling away. And I can see the Six of um, Swords poking out behind. So moving on. Yes, emotional, psychological impairment, as I was saying, they're putting on a smile. Um, but they are not feeling too good inside not when it comes to you but when it comes to I just feel some kind of really um, damaging behavior thought process action attitude something like that in internally that your person does or holds on to that doesn't serve them and that's something they're working on on releasing I keep hearing a darkness it's like they think of it as their own personal sort of darkness Okay, we have lived alone. So for some of you, your person does live alone and you know this. For others of you, um, they could be saying that you, what you may not know is that they now do live alone and maybe they were living with other people before or another person. Early riser, this is someone who wakes up early or I think we had this last time. Again, they're not getting too much sleep because they're thinking about you so much. Also someone who could be very busy, as we said. Let's see what this is. Yeah, we have drugs. You see what I mean? It doesn't have to actually be drugs, but something to... Um, uh, what's the word? Something to help them avoid thinking about things. Um, so avoidance behaviour, some, some codependent habits. So being, you know, dependent on, on some sort of substance or something or binge watching something. Um something basically to stop them being able to think clearly that's what they needed that's what they wanted in the past but now it, they realize it's just having a very negative impact on them and we have that two of swords reversed because now they want to see clearly okay oh and we have resurrection so your person might be saying look i'm sorting myself out I'm, I'm living alone now or I'm planning to move out to be alone so we can resurrect this in peace by ourselves with no one around. Living alone, it could also, if it's not like a physical, I live in a house alone kind of thing, they could be saying, I'm alone now in my thoughts, in my emotions, I'm not taking on everybody else's opinion. So, so can we have another go and have it only be you and I in this connection, influencing us, no one else. I'm not going to listen to um, other people on the back we have alcohol so drugs and alcohol again could be doesn't have to literally be drugs and alcohol but definitely something to numb to avoid 
to distract, to take, you know, to really sort of take the edge off. Um, okay. So let's get some characteristics so you can maybe get a bit of confirmation or um, see if you recognize any of these traits in your person. Empathetic. So this could be someone who actually um, is incredibly empathetic and sensitive to emotions, but they like to hide it. And that's why they tend to, to go to things like um, drugs, alcohol, food, any kind of distraction, because they take on a lot. And maybe they don't really know too much about grounding and cleansing their energy. So it becomes very overwhelming. We have impulsive. So this could be someone who can be impulsive or maybe, you know, so far in your connection, they've been impulsive with you. Stubborn. It's a very common one in these readings. And it doesn't just have to mean your person is, you know, is generally stubborn. They definitely could be. But um, often in these connections, you know, both people feel that they know the best way to move forward. So maybe your person has been stubbornly going by their own formula or whatever's worked in the past or stubbornly trying to push your connection into a box that it doesn't fit in we have confident <laughs> yeah i feel this person you know your person maybe can wear a mask of i'm confident everything's fine i'm completely um at peace with myself i'm happy but deep down they're dealing with a lot of emotions here some their own some they've taken on from others materialistic So this could be someone who likes the finer things in life. They may have been reluctant to make changes to their lifestyle because they live quite a nice um, lifestyle at the moment. And they're worried that some, that some of those things might go away if they make a change. And we have jealous, another common one. Let's get one more. Ooh, highly sexual. Again, very common in these readings. Okay, what's on the back? Peaceful. So this is where your person, your person is coming to a place of peace now. They definitely have not been feeling uh, peaceful up to this point. Okay. Yeah, being apart has been life changing for me. Absolutely. It's during this time of separation, whether it was, you know, a, com um, a complete separation with no contact or there was just more distance between you in one way or another. During this time, they've realized that you are their world. You're, you mean so much to them. I'm a better person because of you, absolutely. So you've really sparked this change. You've helped them to think about, you know, what they've been doing, the way they've been living. That's not be really been very beneficial for them as well. I feel too much pressure right now. No other compares to you. Mm, I know I made a huge mistake. So this is for those of you who you were dealing with someone and they chose somebody else or they went off and started someone, some, started someone else, started something else. Um, and they're saying, you know, crap, I, I made a, a made an error here because I've always been faithful to you in my heart space. It's always been you. No one compares. And now I feel really stressed out in this other situation that I've created that just quite honestly didn't need even to exist. So that's something... You know, just for some of you that this person is dealing with, figuring out. Um, I keep comparing others to you. Yeah, and these others fall short because there's no one who compares to you. So maybe when they're out, you know, or speaking to someone, they might think that, you know, oh, you're not as funny as my person, so you the viewer, or, oh, you know, that's a really stupid thing to say, my person is really smart, you know, whatever it is, um, but I feel that they're always reminded of you. We, oh, we have karma is a bitch, I finally got mine, so 
Hmm, that ten of swords energy. You know, it seems like they pulled back in a kind of a shitty way, if I'm honest, caused some pain, at least as far as they're concerned, and they're saying the the whatever they're experiencing right now, this pressure, this emotional stress, psychological stress, um, it feels like karma for how they treated you. When honestly I feel at some point they made you feel that you were going crazy. They made you doubt your emotions, they made you doubt their feelings for you. Maybe they said, you know, this whole thing is a headache, leave me alone. And the truth was, you were always in that heart space and no one else compares to you. We have, um, I can still feel you. Do you know, when I was reading this, what I was actually hearing is I can still love you. Um which is slightly strange i can still love you what does that mean oh i can like i can i can still um show up in this relationship i can still love you in the way that you deserve um you know basically can you give me a chance to show you i can still show up i can still be all the things you thought i was you know i can live up to your hopes your expectations of me oh so some of you may have shown your person that you've pulled back maybe you're losing hope or faith in them in some way and again not all of you but for some of you that will resonate you're the only person who truly gets me yeah and yet they made you feel like you didn't or tried to pass it off as you were being too intense or weird i can't handle your words right now that's why that page of cups is reversed and it, that message still needs to come through because they've got to be ready to hear what you have to say and in some ways it's nicer it's easier for them to have hope that okay i'm going to reach out and we'll see if we can move this forward versus i have reached out and you've said no because then where do they go as you are watching this reading i'm assuming more of you would say yes than no but um your person is, is nervous definitely to hear what you have to say Okay, so let's get some final messages. So these could be from a person or from spirit. We'll see as we go. Okay, so we have one on the floor. Okay, message from spirit. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. So maybe you've had a lot of attention and focus on your person. Spirit saying it's time to go within and to ask yourself, maybe what do you need to release? Do you have some... Um, intuitive nudges and prompts that are trying to, to guide you to take your next best steps here whether it's with disconnection or you know any other area of your life okay what else playfulness laughter is the best therapy have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer so yeah if you're feeling like there's been too much pain. I feel maybe take the pressure off. Um, you don't have to force yourself to heal and forgive or forget or anything like that. Maybe just build up slowly. Um, try and maybe have some more light-hearted times with this person. And um, and I think I think the laughter, the fun, will help with the healing. We also have this card, which says, uh -huh, healing, yeah. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Um, okay, so yeah, you can absolutely do that. If you don't want to send your person light, you can just imagine it for yourself. Um, but yeah, definitely a need for healing, playfulness. But I feel Spirit saying, allow yourself to do this naturally, organically. Take the pressure off. Um... You know, there's always there's always pressure, I feel, in society to forgive and move on. And sometimes it's not that easy. Sometimes you're just not ready to forgive. Sometimes you might feel that certain things don't deserve to be forgiven or you've not seen enough in terms of changed behaviour. So I don't know, it's, it's all very individual, but I feel this is saying, do not pressure yourself. Let's get maybe two more. We have surrender. Yeah, at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So again, I feel this is about just taking it easy, honouring your feelings. Okay, and the last card we have is this one. Criticising one another one another will only lead to further unhappiness love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform 
Mm. It felt really hard for me to read that. It's almost like I was seeing different words as I was reading and my mouth, my tongue didn't want to form the words. Maybe this is something that's been difficult for both of you to really, um, you know, to, I guess, to try and accept things as they are and to not place blame on each other or try to change each other. Um, I don't know, that might resonate for some of you. But again, you see, it's about flow here. So I think the if we wanted to take advice from this, the advice is really focus on yourself. And I feel that the balance is shifting. So you've been fighting for this connection. Um, and now it's like your person's ready to fight for this. So you get the chance to rest. So there's a nice balancing out there. On the back, we have embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. And that was really easy to read. That's definitely a truth right there. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I will be back on Friday to do what's hidden in your connection, any blockages, blessings, that sort of thing. I'm hoping to get out the uh, messages from your higher self reading tomorrow as well. So just to say, yes, I am planning to, as I said, continue with the Monday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday readings as usual. I just want to add in some extras as well. Um, comments will be back on as soon as I can, hopefully not too much longer. But as I said, thank you for your patience. Thank you for bearing with me. Um, I hope this is helpful. Take care and we will speak soon. Bye.